this shit! <laughs> What's up, fight fans? Welcome to Triple THS, brought to you by Counter Move Fancy MMA at countermove.com. I'm the Jurassic Park 3 of mixed martial arts, Tommy Toehold. And today, we are going to take a look at MMA fans throughout the history of the sport. Playing the role of those fans will be the amazingly fucking awesome Isaac Valley Flag. Why is Isaac Valley Flag reenacting the part of MMA fans throughout history? Because he is amazingly fucking awesome, that is why. The first MMA fans, or the early adopters who were there for the first 10 UFCs or so, can be broken up into three categories. There were the martial arts enthusiasts. I train in some sort of martial art and this is relevant to my interests. The sadists. Hope somebody's fucking eye comes out! Fucking blood! And the people who were confused and thought they were ordering wrestling. What the fuck is happening? The only thing all three groups have in common is that they will never let you forget that they ordered UFC 1 on pay-per-view. Yeah, I ordered the first UFC. I even had it on VHS. I knew this thing was going to be huge. I could tell right away. Yep, first one to figure it out. Nobody gives a shit. The next set of fans are from the UFC Dark Ages after the rush of the first events, but before the Zuffa boom. Those fans... Those fans don't exist. After that, we have an interesting era. The early Zuffa fans before Griffin Bonner. Matt Hughes is the best fucking welterweight of all time. Nobody is ever going to beat him. Chuck Liddell is a goddamn legend. They were right about one of those things. You also had during that time, the hardcore J MMA fans. UFC's scared to make a tour versus Fedor. Bandy and Rampage would fucking own the UFC fighters. Pride never died. Then Griffin Bonner happened and the whole MMA world changed, giving us the new fans who were slightly confused. I think, um, I... I think that uh, that Chuck could beat Liddell. Man, for sure. You know, let's fucking rage. And the fans from before the boom who hated all the new fans. Fuck anybody on the underground with a join date after 2004. It was a golden era for the UFC. There were stars out the ass, every fight was incredible, and every card was the greatest card of all time. Or at least, that is what fans from this era will still tell you today. Man, I love that we never saw prelims, and fights weren't on free TV very much, and Pride had some of the greatest fighters, so we couldn't watch them all compete against each other. But we knew who the fighters were, man, because we only saw like six of them a month. Wish MMA was still like that. You're an idiot. After that, we saw the third great boom, and that was caused by one Broccoli Edward Lesnar, which again, brought in new and confused fans. Nobody's gonna beat Brock, bro. He'll knock out anybody with his side control. I saw him fight Chuck Lytle, man. He fucking whooped his ass. Affliction forever! And of course, the older fans, who again, hated all the new fans. Fuck anybody on the underground with a join date after 2008. Which brings us to the modern era. Fight cards every weekend, a consolidated roster, of the best in the world, streaming internet, the rise of women's mixed martial arts, social media rules the world. And this era has its own fans as well. There are the fans like me. I enjoy fighting. There are the hipsters. MMA is too corporate now. I only watch lion fights. Yod Fairtex is the best modern era fighter in the world. I'm sure you've never heard of him. The casual fans. Hey, I heard Ronda Rousey, Anderson Silva, John Jones, George St. Pierre fighting tonight. Mind if I come over and not pitch in for the pay-per-view but drink your beer? Yeah, sure, I, I guess. Great, I'll be sure to ask like a thousand questions throughout the night. The hardcore fans. Man, fuck everything. I hate all this shit. I'm never spending my money on this again. We gotta do something about all this stuff and these things, you know? I don't like these changes, man. Not getting my money anymore. Nope. Robbie Lawler is fighting Rory McDonald. Fuck, that is awesome. Okay, but only this one time. I'm super serious about this. And then, of course, there are the Irish fans who all collectively hate the shit out of everything that is not Irish. Oh, what? Because I'm Irish, I can only cheer for Irish fighters. And we have a bunch of fucking leprechauns running around, and we all eat bowls of lucky charms. But instead of milk, we use Guinness. Zara Blueberry, actual Irish fan and writer for SevereMMA.com. That was that was just a joke, what I what I said about Irish people. I'm, I'm partly Irish. You're such a stupid cunt, Tommy. Well, I mean, there's no need for foul language. Cunt is, uh, cunt's pretty harsh here in the US. I'll say whatever the fuck I why not you cunt? Okay, fair enough. Why can't you blink, Tommy? Is it because you're a cunt? I... It was a birth defect. Okay, be honest with me. How is my Irish accent when I do it on the show? Your Irish accent sounds like a cat being fisted. Wow, that is graphic. Um, what? What? Why are the Diaz brothers there? Nick and Nate are loved everywhere. International appeal, motherfucker. What? Fuck you, George. Baldy motherfucker looks like a walking dildo. <laughs> yeah, George, what the fuck, homie? Took a vacation. You didn't come back for like... Forever. Vacations are permanent, motherfucker. What? Suck to that. What? 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 Okay, what the hell is happening right now? Uh, Zara, is there anything else we Americans get wrong about Ireland that you'd like to clear up? Yeah, stop calling St. Paddy's Day, Patty's Day, you cockwomble. It's not P A T T Y, it's P A D D Y, as in Paddy Wagon, not Patty fucking mayonnaise. I'm not kidding, Tommy. If one American says Patty this year, I'm coming back here and punching you in the fucking face. Fair enough. 
Fair enough. All right, Fight Fans, that is the show. A huge thanks to Zara Blueberry for coming on. Zara, where'd you go? Sorry, uh... Had to go take a quick selfie. I forget anything? SevereMMA.com, motherfucker. For everybody at Triple THS, I'm Tommy Toehold. Diaz125. What she said.